As the number of new COVID-19 cases continues to rise, the Chinese government has ordered partial or full lockdowns affecting 250 million residents. The negative economic impacts are now clearly significant, as are their effects on global supply chains. But what does this mean for global investors? Let's take a closer look. At first blush, a seven-day average of less than 30,000 new cases a day in a country with a population of 1.4 billion is not that concerning. However, in the context of the government's strict zero-COVID policies, the rise has major repercussions. And we don't expect the government to reverse course anytime soon. A lower estimated efficacy rate of China's vaccines, almost no natural immunity, and low vaccination rates among the elderly make pulling back on lockdowns too risky. China's lockdowns affect 40% of its economy and may cut 2022 GDP growth by as much as 1%. And the highly contagious nature of the Omicron variant creates the risk of more erosion later this year. Further, China's massive economy drives a good amount of global growth. So when China slows, the rest of the world could follow. The shutdowns may stoke continued global inflation as well. The lockdowns center on an important manufacturing region and major supplier to the automobiles and electronics industries. They have also severely disrupted the production and transport of goods. Shanghai Port has a record number of more than 300 ships waiting to load or unload. That means supply chain disruption is once again getting worse instead of better. In a world already struggling with high inflation, this doesn't help. With the COVID-19 wave likely to slow growth and support high inflation, we decided to go underweight Chinese equities in early March. China's equity market was already struggling with a regulatory crackdown and a restructuring of the property sector, and the government was simply not providing enough monetary and fiscal policy support to counteract all of the headwinds. We continue to believe caution is warranted for investors until we receive firm confirmation that the government is acting decisively and the rise of disruption from the pandemic dissipates.